Hello everybody, Wild Bill for America here enjoying another sunset on Daytona Beach. And you know, liberal idiocy causes harm not just in the USA but all around the world. World Net Daily is reporting that 3,000 women in India are now widowed because their husbands have been killed by man-eating tigers when they go out to work the fields. Why isn't somebody dealing with these tigers? I'll bet good money that the Indian government is afraid of the wrath of the lunatic, liberal, animal rights people. There was a picture of three men with one single shot tranquilizer gun trying to get a shot at a tiger in the thick bush. <laughs> Gee, what could possibly go wrong there? Well, here's a wild bill bullet of truth for whoever cares. Bad kitty cats like these are why God created big bore rifles. Liberal animal rights people are ignorant when it comes to dealing with aggressive animals. Lions, tigers, bears, leopards, you know, the usual suspects, have a predator-prey mindset. When they're in predator mode, people are on the menu. But guess what happens when the people start coming after them? The tiger's brain flips and starts telling the tiger that he is the prey, and the tiger starts acting like it. They start running away from the people. Theoretically, this might work with Antifa as well. Now, the liberals will howl that the poor tiger should be moved rather than killed. Okay, fine, let's move him to San Francisco because once a predator gets a taste of human blood, they tend to keep chomping on people. Apparently, we taste really good. Let's fix this problem over in India. Let's send about 100 American veterans with 375 caliber bolt-action rifles. And send along a film crew for a reality TV show called Man-Eater Wars. That would solve the tiger problem. Somebody would make a ton of money on the TV show, and I would really enjoy listening to the PETA people throw a hissy fit. Another perfect capitalist solution. This is Wild Bill for America. Thank you for watching, and America bless God again.